Nikos Belgian received a Master of Fine Arts degree from the School of Fine Arts in Athens, Greece, and continued his studies at L'École de Louvre and L'École de Beaux-Arts in Paris, France. In the late 1940s, Belgian developed innovative techniques for creating murals on metal in San Francisco, California. During the 50s and 60s, Belgian was one of the most popular muralists in the United States. Belgian's work was commissioned by everyone from Fortune 500 companies to private individuals and ranged in size from 4 square feet to over 500 square feet. His patrons were companies like Pfizer Pharmaceuticals. General Motors Kaiser Aluminum Kaiser Steel Raymond Lowy, U.S. Steel, the FBI J. Edgar Hoover, the Greek Consulate, and Air India. Belgian painted with light. His paintbrush was a handful of steel wool and his palette was refracted light. The illusion of form and motion was achieved in his murals by the refraction and diffusion of light from the many and varied angles of buffed and burnished metal surfaces. As one moves past the murals, the color and design of the work seem to change because of the many angles of reflectivity. What makes his work even more spectacular are the specially arranged lighting systems that give the murals a sparkling iridescence and ever-changing color tones. These lights, reflecting from the facets of countless abrasions, vividly project his mural's figures. When the lights are turned off, the murals take on a silvery white appearance with gray to black shadows. Nikos Belgian's works encompassed murals, decorative structural applications, dividers, windows, tables, and other appointments. His techniques included brush design on sheet metals, mosaics of metals, Relief mosaics with reinforced plastic, gilded bar relief, freeform murals with custom colored aluminum, and translucent mosaics with metals, plastic, and colored glass. His style ranged from detailed representational works to abstract forms. He explored cultural, religious, industrial, cartographic, and everyday life themes. His work was chronicled in major media like American Artist, Light Metal Age, The Chronicle, KCBS Radio, and KPIX Television in San Francisco, Architectural Record, The Associated Press, New York Mirror, Popular Science, The New York Times, and numerous industry periodicals. Nikos Belgian created over 180 works of metal art until his brilliant career was cut short by his death in 1966. Those murals that have been traced to date are cherished by their owners. Unfortunately, many of the companies who commissioned Belgian are no longer in existence. 
Were his works destroyed with the buildings and offices they graced? Were they put into storage someplace and forgotten? Or are they still out there someplace today, being enjoyed by the public under another name?